Today is almost the last day when the UK and the European Union may reach a deal. The project of the trade agreement should be approved by parliaments of the EU countries and the UK House of Commons. The parties should do all this until January 1st. Otherwise, Europe may face an economic shock. That's why markets got stuck expecting years on the issue. However, there is no new information. At the moment, traders may focus on the new statistical data that could push the greenback lower. There is only one positive report on the use of durable goods orders. The indicator is expected to advance by 0.6%. At the same time, the US labor market condition caused a lot of concerns. On the one hand, the number of continuous unemployment claims may decline by 18,000. However, the overall number of unemployment claims is incredibly big. Such figures pointed to the market stagnation. This can be proved by a rise of 20,000 in the number of the first-time claims. In this case, the overall number of unemployment claims may advanced by 2000. Moreover, the US unemployment rate is also very high. Thus, the US economy will hardly recover amid a grave labor market situation. At the moment, economists see enough signs of possible stagnation. On December 22, the euro-dollar pair dropped to the support level of 1.2150. After that, the pair stopped and rebounded. If the price uh, fails to fix below 1.2150, it will advance to 1.2240. It will be a strong sign of a channel formation at the peak of the midterm uptrend. However, if the pair slides below 1.2150, it may reach the levels of 1.2120 and 2070 amid the fact that the euro is significantly overbought. At the same time, on December 22nd, the pound sterling dropped by 1% against the US dollar to settle at 1.33. At the moment, we can see that the British pound has recovered against the greenback. If there is no news about Brexit, the pair may jump to the levels of 1.3455 and 3480. After that, the price is likely to stop moving. However, statistical data and technical analysis will be ignored by news amid uh, information on the trade agreement. That's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading session.